Hey there, everybody. Welcome to another daily challenge uh, here on Blanco's, Blanco's Block Party. Jeez, I'm having trouble talking. It's late in the day. We had a big day today. But um, today, uh, as usual, we're going to go after the daily challenge again. Get those badges. Keep leveling up here. But we're also going to um, go over. We're going to buy another NFT today. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Really, it's super easy. Um, and then on top of that, what we're going to do is um, we're going to head over to the website and show you how to download it and set it up as well. Now, as usual, all the timestamps of what is um, what I'm talking about will be covered in the comment section below. So you can fast forward, rewind, watch the whole thing. I don't care. All I want is this to be helpful, informative for you. And I hope that um, you can join the game and join me, friend me. And I'll show you how to do that, too, at some point as well. So let's get started here today. So the first thing, this is the junction. Um, this is where when you enter the game, this is where it drops you off. It drops you off at the main um, uh, um, lobby here. Not really a lobby, it's more of a world um, where everything branches out of from here. So this is the junction. Now the first thing you see when you log into the junction or log into the game, um, Danny Palma, there it is, he friended me. Go Billies. I know what he meant, but that's uh, not what you said. Say what you mean, mean what you say. Come on. <laughs> um, so this is the junction on the top left here. You're going to see complete a shooter, run a thousand meters, and perform five emotes. These are really easy challenges that we're going to accomplish today. So run a thousand meters is exactly what it sounds like. I am just going to start running around here. So boom. And you should see the meter start to... Um, Start to go up once we cross this threshold here, maybe. Let's go look at my little guy. Oh, hurdling him. Let's see. We should see that meter, the run meter go up here. Let's head over to, uh, let's head over to a different land over here, see if that makes a difference. Well, I thought it would be easy, but uh, apparently it's not registering in the main lobby here in the junction. So we may have to gain these thousand yard or thousand meters in um, in a game. So we'll do that because we do have to complete a shooter anyway. That's one of the daily challenges here. So let's do that. So when I hit the menu button, I can go to the party bus. And what that's going to do is bring me to the different races or different events, kind of side parties that are going on in the game here. So let's go to, we're going to do a shooter. Let's do the farm shooter. Bam. So we're going to try this one out. When you see it says the farm shooter, FFA, what that stands for is free for all. So um, with shooters, there are team games and there are free for all games. So... This one basically throws all of us into a, a lobby together and then just goes, have at it, may the best Blanco win. And uh, I suck at the shooting games. I'll be perfectly transparent with you there. So this is going to be painful to watch. We only get better by doing practice, right? So we'll see if the uh, that, that uh, daily challenge of me running will register too because I thought it would might register in the junction, but I guess not. So we're going to have to get that uh, by doing these party games as well. So what you're looking at right here is the game's just loading up here. Throws you in a lobby, waiting for others to join. It looks like we got a packed house in here today, baby. So you see the timer in the bottom left, 22, 21, 20. So if it were the real game, you know, you got the crosshairs right here. You just point and let it rip. Bam, bam, bam. See you, Angel. Um, but I, it does not work out like that in real life for me because I'm horrific at this, and I just kind of run and hide. So... All right, we got one second here. Oop, I'm stuck in the barn here. All right, here we go. One of them was uh, do 10 emotes too. Now an emote is kind of a uh, reaction that you, blank, you can force your uh, Blanco to do. So I'm just gonna do a bunch of emotes here. See, so he's flexing. There we go, he's posing. You're looking at him from behind because this is a shooter game. There we go. So we just, oh, five emotes. So that's one of the daily challenges. I did do five emotes. I just did it right there. 
and I'll explain, you know, the results of that in just a second here, but for now, let's just focus on staying alive. Shooting this guy. Oh, he ran up there, okay. Oh! Hey, we got someone! Oh boy, now I got got. <laughs> I am horrible at the shooting games. I just kind of go full bore. What was that uh, that internet meme? Um, I forgot the name, that internet meme. Uh, shoot. But it was the World of Warcraft where we just ruined the raid by just running in. I forgot that, but you know what I'm talking about if you uh, are old like me. <laughs> All right, so Danny, that's a really good question. How do you earn money in this game? So there are different ways to earn money. Um, but really, it's the trading of the uh, the characters and the assets within the game. So think of it like this. This kind of looks like Call of Duty, right? I'm running around. I'm shooting more like a Fortnite, I guess. Maybe you compare it. Well, in Fortnite, you pay to play that game, and then you pay to get the extra assets. Well, the exact opposite is true in this world. You own the assets in the game. The players own the assets. Not all assets are created uh, equal. Oh, Lorenzo just got pwned. So, I have a mod in this game, or I have a mod on my channel that set up Beepbot. I'm gonna have to get with him because uh, it's funny, The uh, it yells at the, mu the streaming ser music service that I use for uh, posting links, but it's links to the song, like that's how you use the service. So the two bots are just like yelling at each other. Uh, but, but going back to talking about how you earn money, so there's three tiers and levels. So there's each character can get to a max level of 15, but there's three tiers where it's fair, good, and excellent. So once you get to 15 fair, then you upgrade to level one good. Once you get to level 15 good, you get to level 15 or one excellent. And then once you go to level 15 excellent, you're capped out. That's like the best your player can be. So each one of these characters, they do they do drops. So this guy came with the game. I am just shot up. Look at me. I'm running. I'm fighting for my life here. Um, each one of these characters are limited edition. So there's like two trains of thought, I guess, and uh, it's yet to be seen. You know which one correct, I guess you'd say, or you know is more advantageous, but. They drop an NFT character called a Blanco, and you can either keep it boxed or not boxed. So right there, it says, good job, I completed a shooter, so that's my second reward of the day. Um, so I'm gonna go back to the main menu. We'll calm things down a bit here. Let's get back. All right, so I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about here, Danny. So let's go to my shelf, okay? And I'll go over a little bit about what I'm talking about, and um, I'm gonna go over as well um, how to buy an NFT, and I'll kind of show you the market here. I think you'll find this pretty interesting. So this is the shelf in the game. This is where basically you keep all your Blancos. So it's your own personal collection of NFTs. So I own personally each and every one of these. Now, these bottom three, those are opened. Um, these two, you know, came with the game. In Deadward, I won this guy. I won as a part of a part of a um, you know just a reward for you know playing the game. So these all these other guys are um, are limited edition. Most of them are discontinued. So once you know, say they make let's uh, for instance let's click on Octoid, right? This guy just dropped last week. So uh, that's not a good one to look at. Uh, how about let's do this? Okay, Maximouth. So if you look. We're in season zero right now um, because it's just the beginning of this game. It had This is kind of like the pre-access. Um, when you look at the issue number, that's an important thing to look at when you're getting a Blanco. So it says 2383 out of 3773. So I have a pretty low one um, because I really haven't spent like big money on this yet um, because it's, you know, obviously everything's a risk. I've spent a bunch of money, but not like big money. Um, so. 2383 out of 3773. Now, to contrast it, so this is a boxed Blanco. So think about a pair of shoes that you buy, or like a car that you buy. As soon as that car goes off the lot, or as soon as you wear those pair of Jordans, you know, around the park, 
they inherently are going to lose their money. So that's kind of the concept around these Blancos, is if you unbox the Blanco, it potentially could lose money. Now, that's not an absolute fact, because I'll tell you why. If you look at the top where it says details, skills, accessories, and emotes, you'll see that skills, accessories, and emotes are blanked out because he is in a box. Now, if you go to the one, my players that are active, like let's take a look at Noob right here, my guy I was just playing with. Now you can see on the right, he's a good level seven. So I could sell him, I could sell him, you know, probably for a little bit more than like say, so Danny, let's say you've never played this game before, right? Which you haven't, I don't think. So let's say that you've never played this game before and you come in and you're like, screw this, like I don't wanna start at zero. I wanna start like with a pretty good character, but like I'm not trying to like break the bank and like get the best character out there. Well, I could put this guy in the marketplace. So you go to the marketplace and you're looking for a middle of the road player where you know you could still, you're not paying top dollar for the best character, but also at the same time, you're not starting to square one. So like I told you, it's fair, good, and excellent. So this is a, exactly middle of the road, actually. He's halfway through the second of three tiers in his uh, uh, evolution here. So this would be, you know, I could put him on the market and then you would buy it for me. You could use our credit card, or your credit card. You could use, um, you could use um, your, any cryptocurrencies. You can link that up to the game. It's all on the blockchain. So that's really, that's the, the crux of like where you can make money. Now, what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna take a tour. I'm gonna take a detour. So let's head over to, give me one second, we're gonna switch gears here. You can buy them with Ethereum. You absolutely can buy them with Ethereum that is one of the um, blockchains that is attached to it. So I'm gonna buy one live on the show right now to kind of show you, um, you know, what that, what that process looks like. And then we'll go over signing up for the game too because I know I've been asked that question as well. All right, so let's take a look here. Let's play a little music, because it got silent and it sounds weird. So let's play some music. What kind of music you guys want to listen to? Oh, I think we're frozen. Are we frozen? We're not, we're good, we're live. Come on, here we go. Just running a little slow today. Okay, uh, what do we want to listen to, guys? Let's listen to... Uh, Let's see. Some chill EDM. There we go. We got some chill EDM going. All right. So let's take a look here. I'm going to go to the marketplace. So blankos.com. Big booty. I'll get booted from the internet for copyright issues. So I might ban you from my channel for even suggesting that. I'm just kidding. Um, all right. So this is the marketplace. Okay. So... The marketplace is where all of these guys are bought and sold. So what I can do is I can go to my shelf, so my collection, because I'm logged in under my account, and these are all the NFTs that I own. The load, here we go. So I got all these guys, these are all mine. Um, now what I can do is I can filter them by accessories or Blancos. Accessories are what the Blancos wear in the game. Those are also NFTs, or I can uh, filter them by Blancos. So I'm gonna filter them by Blancos just to kind of show you, um, for instance, I think the clown is a, uh, actually, what's this? let's do Octoid. Let's just check out Octoid. So I own Octoid, and I like using this as an example because it's the most recent one that came out. So we came out for 10 bucks. Um, so you can see early access, it's season zero, zero. Um, early access edition somewhere, there's an attic. Somewhere in that attic is a cobweb covered shelf. Tucked away in the highest ledge is a plain wooden box. That's where Octoid waits. Octoid is patient. Someone who always opens the box eventually. It's kind of a creepy thing, but I think it's funny. Now, right now, there's 2,800 of these minted. Right here, you see 2,817. So if you, uh, you can't see it, here we go. Uh, you can't see it, but I own, here we go. I own 285 out of 2817. So that's a really, I mean, that's up there, right? That's It's a top tier um, mint, they call it, that I have. So what's cool is, uh, and it says that he's boxed. If he had, if he was unboxed, he would see his attributes. So we'll scroll down here. 
And what I love about blockchain technology is you can see all the latest listings of Octoid. So right now, uh, you can just see, you know, the latest transac transactions of, of uh, Octoid. So I got him, I bought him for 20 bucks because he came out for 10 bucks, got sold out almost immediately. I didn't get in. I wait for the dust to settle. And then I look for the highest mint that I could buy for the cheapest price and within reason, right? So I bought 285 for 20 bucks. Now, if you look, number 438 sold three hours ago for 20 bucks. You can see that right here. And then you can see on the blockchain where that happened. So that went from the 6E33 person to 2E44. Um, mint number 2775. So right near the bottom. I mean, we're talking, what, 30, 40 from the bottom? Uh, sold for 1550, which is definitely a good sign because, like I said, this guy started out at 10 bucks. And if you're looking at lower tier Octoid selling for more than the um, uh, initial price that it came out at, that's a good sign. Um, here we go, number 83. Um, so top 100, that sold for 55 bucks a day ago. So say this person bought it, and you can click on it, and you can see what's up here. So. Uh, here's number 83. This is one we were just talking about. So, um, so he got it. He got it the initial. You know, there, it never had switched hands from the initial ten dollars. So, um, there we go. So that's that's pretty cool, right? So that's that's kind of, that's kind of how the marketplace works. Now I'm going to show you live. Um, I'm going to buy an NFT. I'm going to show you what it's like to kind of what my thought process is when buying them and uh, what I'm looking for. So I'm gonna buy a Blanco. I bought a bunch of accessories earlier. You, if you're just getting into this game, there's a lot of accessories out there. I'll show you, I'll show you what I'm talking about here. So there's a lot of accessories out there that are, you know, high mint or low mints, you know, one through a hundred, let's say. Um, and you can, you can sort by that too. So I'm gonna, I want, I'm filtering by accessories. I'm filtering by for sale. And then I'll look at mints and I'll filter it by like, you know, let's say top 268, right? So, and then we'll go price low to high. So look, you can get, you know, mummy mitts, Egyptian cotton belts, neon prong bracelet. These are all very, very cheap, obviously. 390, 398, four dollars. And what's really cool is like, get into this, you know, like get, get your feet wet. You don't know if uh, you're not in it. You know, it's, it's, it's trial by error because this is all just so brand new and changing the way that you know games are being played so i would suggest i mean i'm not giving financial advice obviously but if you are interested into or getting into these play to earn games own a piece of this game by getting on the market creating an account getting into the marketplace and then buying some accessories and that's going to help you understand the market keep an eye on it see which way it goes so like let's say you wanted to buy the mummy mitts for instance let's go in here Check out the mummy mints. Um, so look, you can get number 268. Um, you can get 268 for eight bucks. Look at this, you get 234 for 1234. You can get number 141 for 10 bucks. Like that's 141 of 4100. So there's definitely, look at 91. You can get top 100 for 1899. It's a steal. That's an absolute, we can actually check this out. We'll go, you can sort by issue number as well. So let's go ascending. All right, so this person wants to sell number two for $5,000. Seems ridiculous. Um, or you can get number three for 200. So you can see how the market is very, you know, there's, there's no, there's really no standard. This is just the wild west. So that's why when a new one comes out, I'll wait an hour and I'll just kind of let the dust settle, figure out, kind of let people figure out the price. And then I'll invest where, you know, I think it makes sense for me. And that makes sense. Everyone's got different disposable incomes and everyone's got different expectations. Um, but for me, I mean, you can get a, a number 20 out of 4,100 for 39 bucks. That's pretty wild, you know, five away. This person's selling it for 550 bucks. So pretty crazy, pretty, cra pretty, pretty crazy. So I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna look at the, um, all right, here we go, Sverkery. 
You got 696 Octoid. Started out just recently. Wanted a Blanco to wear instead of the starter ones. Going to keep the rest box. Sverky, that's exactly what I did as well. Um, I've only when welcome to the Blanco world, by the way. Uh, love this game. Love the idea of like where it's going in this whole play to earn NFT world. I think it's just, it's just, you know, it, it, it's going to really change the way that all of this is happening. The gaming world exists. How much value do you think a Blanco drops when unboxed? So, I don't know, and that's that's a really tough question. And I think, I think there might be. I don't know. Maybe in the future, you know, we'll see how the market dictates it. But we'll see if maybe you unbox it and level up a character to a 15 excellent with a ton of skill. Maybe that's worth more than a boxed one. At, you know what I mean? So, and do you think with Gem Rush, it might be worth leveling up a few a few cool blancos? Yeah. So I, that's kind of like I've started to do that with uh, Deadward. I have two Deadwords. I um, so I follow a lot of these big Blancos guys, and um, what they what I what I'm watching them do is um, they they buy a lot of like the lower tier ones, and they're kind of doing like an A B test. So they're gonna go you know buy five clowns maybe, and then keep two of them box, and then build up two of them. You know because I heard in the future um, from Showtag, if you're not following him, follow him. He's, he's a partner, like officially endorsed by Blanco's streamer, um, S-H-O-W-T-E-G. Um, here we go. Thanks, bro. I've tried it anytime. Uh, I've tried a few NFT games, Axie and such, but I really enjoy this and see a lot of potential. Yeah, I really enjoy this too. And so to me, it's a combination of like Mario Party, um, Fortnite, Minecraft, um, uh, Fall Guys. You know, it's just like... But the, the characters kind of look like Funk Pop, Funkos, you know what I mean? So there's there's just a lot of different, you know, aspects to this that I think are really cool. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. So to go back, um, talking about what, I, what I've heard might happen is he said that there might be a point at which, you know, you can mash up two Blancos right now. I don't know if you've gotten it to that point of the game yet. Um, I certainly haven't um, had the ability to mash them up yet, but there might be a point where you can mash up four Blancos. So what a lot of these guys are kind of looking ahead of the curve here and they're going to build up, you know, four beast Blancos and then mix those together to create this like ultra, you know, exclusive Blanco. So there's just so many different ways this game can go. It's pretty wild. Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to buy one on the fly here and I'm going to show you kind of my thought process, process about when I buy one. So... Let's take a look at the Blancos here, and so I want a couple couple things here. I don't want to spend more than 40 bucks right now. You know, it's, uh, I'm not a big spender. What's going on here? There we go, 40 bucks. Don't want to spend more than 40 bucks. Let's look for sale. And let's just see for the hell of it if there are any in like the top 250. Right. All right. So, boom. Right off the bat, what catches my eye? I have two dead words right now. Um, I have a Demanto and I have a Jasper and I have an Octoid. I don't have Mumford because Mumford came out today. So when you see the minted, um, that just means that um, it's part of the Grave Pass. So what that means is if you bought the pass and you're getting the um, the uh, I forgot what they're called. They look like the gold badges, like a star with a badge. If you had, I think it was like 419 of them, um, you got a Mumford minted to you. So there's 554 people so far that have achieved that threshold that got a Mumford to them. So what that means is this guy got it basically for free and he's turning around to sell it for 40 bucks. Um, so number 253 out of however many people eventually will get this, I'm gonna pull the trigger on this guy. I like the idea that it's, you know, top there. So my credit card is already in there. It's behind my screen, so you can't see it. That's why this is set up that way. But all I did was click buy now. So I'm getting Mumford 253 for 40 bucks. I'm gonna hit review. I am going to hit place order and voila, confetti. We have Mumford, number 253. So another thing, well, hold on, there we go. 
sometimes someone like beats you to it as you, you know you might both be going for it at the same time um, so bam we got Mumford so the next thing I suggest doing is heading over to Blanco's insider.com and um, if you if you play the game and you haven't registered definitely something that I would suggest doing uh, because I showed you my shelf in the game itself in the app and I showed you you know all the Blancos that I own in my personal marketplace that I'm showing to you right now but the difference is is those are both private this is public this is a public ledger of all the Blancos that Blancos that you own so um, you saw where I clicked in the top right here in these three uh, lines I'm gonna hit my shelf and then so these are, this is a public ledger of all the ones that I own. So anyone watching, you know, Sverkery, Danny Palma, anybody who wants to come in, blankosinsider.com and look, you can just see everyone that I have that I'm registering, which is all of them. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over here again and go add items. And I'm going to add Mumford. Scroll down to Mumford. No sons. There we go. And then what number did we get? I forgot. 253. So I'm going to hit 253. I'm going to hit add Blanco. Boom. So now Mumford 253 is now in my public ledger here. And we can go. And I didn't uncheck because he is boxed. You know, I bought him boxed. Uh, so now I'm going to go to my shelf. Uh, it takes usually a couple minutes. Uh, oh, he's already there. Bam. There he is. So, actually, he is the highest number Blanco that I got. So you just witnessed history, my friends. Um, not for long, though. I'm going to get a lot more, hopefully. But, yeah, so then you can click on them, flip them around. Like I told you, if you played the game and you were at a certain threshold of those badges, I forgot, I, I'll remember in a second, but um, you got it for free. So this person... So that's, again, uh, Danny, you asked me earlier, how do you make money playing this game? Whoever just put this on the marketplace just made 40 bucks. So this dude, or woman, or whoever, um, theoretically could have just played this game for a while, got enough Blancos to have this minted, this NFT minted to them. They put it on the market for 40 bucks, and then I just bought it for 40 bucks. So that 40 bucks goes right to their pocket. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. So that's the concept of... NFTs and uh, pay to play crypto games. I'm sorry, play to earn <laughs> crypto games. So I'm gonna head back to the game now. All right, sounds good, Sverkery. I appreciate you coming on. Really, thank you very much. I'm gonna put timestamps in the description as well so you can fast forward uh, to this point and just kind of watch from here on out. So thanks for joining, I really appreciate it. Subscribe if you like this, it helps a lot. It definitely helps and friend me in the game too. Definitely friend me. All right, so we're gonna head back. Um, we're gonna head back to the uh, the main part of the game here. So, Danny, you say so uh, play play more to get free blancos and then put them on the marketplace to sell them. Bingo, bango, boom. And I'm gonna show you why, um, kind of the utility and how to do that. So let's get back here. Uh, da -da -da. All right, so I don't know if you remember or not, but I'm completing the daily challenges. So I'm gonna head to the party pass here. The party pass is where you collect your rewards, okay? So this is really the central place to where you can start to see uh, the rewards and reap the benefits of, of playing the game. So I bought the party pass, it was $24.99. It lasts a couple months, I think it's to mid-December or something like that, where you can get exclusive NFTs, exclusive drops. To the top, next to Party Pass, it says Early Access Grave Rave. That's what I have. You know, it's kind of like a spook. There we go. Sverkery, I appreciate the, the sub there, man. I uh, appreciate it very much. So, friend me in the game, too, and we'll, we'll, we'll play together sometime. All right, so, um, if you look, like, if we go all the way to the left here, it's kind of like a timeline. Think of it like that. So, you started at, so, that's when I told you I got a free dead word. Um, for getting three badges here. So I got the three badges. I got moolah, which is that stuff. That's a currency within the game. And I got a free dead word. So theoretically, I download the game. I play the daily rewards day one. I get uh, minted 
a dead word. And then what happens is I can play with that dead word, really build him up to a really good level, put him on the marketplace, and then someone pays money to me to buy dead word off of me. Pretty freaking cool, right? So that's basically pay to play, or I'm sorry, play, I keep saying pay to play because that's, uh, but that's basically what play to earn games are in a nutshell, that's what it is. So as you do the missions or the daily challenges, weekly challenges, seasonal challenges, you get more and more of these badges. And as you collect these badges, you can see that you go on along that timeline and you get better and better prizes. So what I'm gonna do now is um, I did the first challenge, or I did two challenges so far. So I got 150 XP chip, we'll explain what XP chips are in a second, and 150 moolah, which is currency in the game. I hit X because I had two of the three rewards, I got that times two. So now I have to run a thousand meters and complete three daily challenges to get that thousand XP chip. You can see that at the top. Um, now you look at the weekly parties, you get more badges. So if you look, I'll get three badges total for finishing these three today. See that little one? Um, on the right here, when you see weekly, if I complete a weekly task, I get four badges, four badges, five badges, four badges, four badges. So if I hammer out all these weekly tasks, that's four, eight, 13, 17, 21. That's gonna really move the needle for you. Now, when you're talking about seasonal challenges, um, and this is where I paid the $24.99 to have access to these. Um, if I finish first in a featured free-for-all shooter five times, I get 14 of them. If I finish first in featured vibe collectors five times, I get 14 of them. And that's where you're exponentially moving that because those badges are hard to get. So the last thing I'm trying to do today is uh, do the run a thousand meters. So I'm gonna head back to the junction here. It takes a second to load, but I hope this uh, kind of explains it for you. Like, uh, I hope you're getting an understanding of how this, oh my God, this music probably sounds terrible because I got two musics going on right now. Just realize that, sorry everybody, my bad. All right, so we're back in the game. All right, so if you have any questions, again, I love the questions, keep them coming. I wanna be, you know, my goal is to be a central database point of information. If I don't know something, I'm gonna look it up for you. I'm gonna figure it out. If you're not watching this live, drop it in the comments, your question, and I will respond, I promise you. I get excited when there's comments. And this game, I think, is just really at the beginning. It's the precipice. It's looking into the abyss. It's at the edge of a cliff, just looking into its massive potential. And it's really some exciting stuff, I think, that's going on. So I think uh, if you're thinking about getting into this game, stop thinking, just doing. It doesn't cost you a penny. If you have right now, as of November 10th, 2021, the game is only available on PC. But... Good news, yesterday they announced it's coming out for Mac. So if you have a Mac, just wait. It's coming out November 30th, I believe is the date. Not exactly sure, but I think that's the, I think that's the date. Um, still, I'm running. I'm running 1,000 meters. I'm not sure why this is not registering. Not sure what I have to do to get 1,000 meters. Oh, there we go. Okay, it's starting to register. Okay, so that... If you notice in the top left, it moved the needle to 108. So we just gotta keep running. We gotta keep running, keep running, keep running. Uh, you know what I think the issue was? That's what the issue was, is, so the little uh, lightning bolts are called vibes. And this is something I just figured out and learned on the fly here. So what I'm doing right there, that's not running. So on the bottom right, you'll see where it says 100 and the little lightning bolt. If I press L3, he sprints. And you'll see it draining. There we go. You see it draining and see like the streaks of like he's running really fast. So that's running. And obviously you deplete your energy by running. So you, that's why you collect the vibes. At least I think, let's see. When I'm done running, so I think it accounts the running when I run out of steam here. Let's see. Let's, let's -a see. Ooh, big bridge. We're humdinging, baby. Humdinging along. 
All right, I'm done. Okay, yep. So that's, so you see like, that's part of the discovery of this game too, is figuring out, and I think that's why they have these daily tasks, is I think they're kind of just, it's like an on-the-fly tutorial, like a how-to kind of thing. So we're at 676, not long to go, baby. Let's keep it humming. Let's keep it running. Uh, there's some over here. 785, we are close. Sprinting. Motoran. That's a portal. We're going to avoid that for right now. 917. We're so close. This is a cannon. This shoots you to other parts, so let's just hop in there. Look at that. We're launched. He gone. Pro tip. You want to hit X before you hit the ground from a high height. Otherwise, you pass out. You get knocked out. Uh, we're back at 100. Let's keep sprinting. Let's keep sprinting. Whee! This should get us to a thousand. Boom! So there we go. A thousand meters. I got more moolah. And there we go. I completed all three daily challenges. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to head back to the party pass. Go to the challenges tab. So there's my third challenge on my collection there. And then when I go to, oh, so then for completing all three, I got a thousand XP chip. All right, so now you'll see it's all completed on the left there. So I completed the three daily challenges and these were the three daily challenges. So now what I'm gonna do is head to the shelf. Takes another second. So I got, I got my boy Pug Life on the right. He was my first NFT Blanco. He was my first Blanco. I mean, Blanco and NFT are basically interchangeable because Blancos are NFTs. Um, but he was the first one that I was like at this the specific time when they were dropping him trying to get one. And um, I got one maybe like two minutes after they sold out for like eight bucks more than what it had sold for. I think it was 49 99 or 50 bucks that they came out with and um you know i, I bought them at uh like 58 or something like that neither here nor there so what i'm going to do here is uh, i'm going to show you what upgrading your guy looks like so let's look at dead word he's a fair level four and um so he's a fair level four uh let's see what noob's at he's a good level seven so he, uh, Dead, Dead Word is a little bit behind here, so we're going to upgrade him. So this guy, he's a fair level 15. So once you get to a level 15, I'm going to hit grade up here. So I need seven gumballs, and that's a thing. That's an item in the game that you can either purchase with moolah, blanco bucks, or um, you can actually just buy them with cash. But, you know, I'm trying to not spend a ton of money on this. Um, so to upgrade Trickle, I need to... Upload him with, or I'm sorry, upgrade him with gumballs and either 1500 moolah or 750 blanco bucks. In my opinion, blanco bucks, this would not be something worth it to use them on. Um, this is just my personal opinion, but I think blanco bucks are better used on buying an NFT, or I'm sorry, using them to redeem to get an NFT once they drop, because you can buy a lot of the NFTs with them. Or, uh, so I'm just waiting on that. So I can't really, I can't upgrade him right now. I don't have enough cash. I'm gonna go back here. Um, but I can upgrade Deadward. So I'm gonna upgrade him here. So when I hit boost, look at all these XP's I have. A thousand, a thousand, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, and 150. A lot of XP here. So if you look at the top, Above where I was just clicking all the coins, it says 955 XP required to level him up. I'm dumping 2,900 into him right now. So I'm obviously going to get the next level plus maybe another one. We'll see. Here we go. Using him on him. Let it rip. Here we go. He's a fair level five. Oh, almost got there. So, um... Once and as you upgrade your blancos as well, you get different rewards. So you can see here, I got a new reward. So uh, I'm gonna go back to the details. So he's a tracer, and uh, each one of these blancos has um, 
He's either like power, racing, or skill. Um, so this guy's a racer. Um, where? So right here. So see the po see it says power perks on the right. So now I can add a new skill to him. I unlocked. So let's uh, let's see what, let's see what uh, you can see the check marks on the ones that I have. Um, your crash dash has a larger impact zone. Get a brief speed boost after you spin. Ooh, I like that one. That's gonna help in racing. So I just equipped him with a new skill. Gonna go back, and I'm actually gonna use him to play as well. Um, Cause Deadward's pretty behind, far behind Noob. He's a full, you know, level. Um, so we're gonna equip him. We're gonna get this, this Jamoke in here. Uh, let's see if we can add some accessories to him. Oh, I bought this wings today. I think it's sweet. So we're gonna add those to him. Um, he had a toaster on his back. Uh, the hat's kind of funny. What's he have on right now? Oh, he's got the, the skull cap. Oh, let's put a little belt on the guy too, that's fun. Oh, I like those. Baller. All right, so we're equipping all that stuff with him. He's equipped, he's our guy. Um, so we're gonna head back. We're gonna head back to the junction and um, Oh, Actually real quick. I'm gonna show you this So to go back what I was talking to I showed you me buying a Blanco With my credit card or debit card on the market on the internet now within the game You can use your moolah and Blanco bucks to actually purchase things in the shop as well and I'm gonna show you so Octoid, remember I told you he came out for 10 bucks, I bought him for 20. Well, you can buy him for a thousand Blanco bucks. So you won't even have to have spent a penny on this game. So in a different world that I didn't do what I did, I download the game, I play the game to get a thousand Blanco bucks. You know, I keep you know doing all the tasks and everything like that. Octoid drops, bam, I mint him for a thousand. And then he's my NFT. I haven't spent a penny. I turn around, I sell him on the marketplace. Someone pays me to buy him off my hands. So that's where the real whole concept of play to earn comes from. And you know that's what an NFT is. You own it. You own these pieces of the game. Really cool stuff. So there's some really exclusive stuff. So Dave the Dead Mouse, Dead Blaster. Um, you want to take a look at this blast off when the beat drops and help Dead Mouse light up the night. Uh, Blanco's partnered with Dead Mouse recently. Huge collab, and they got some really cool looking stuff. It's a little bit out, my, a little bit out of my league, um, but if you, I mean, fifteen thousand to buy that bad boy, thirty five hundred for a VIP pass. So this is some pretty exclusive stuff. Um, so here, if you look at this one, like I could buy this if I wanted to right now. So don't think a pink bum bag screams I'm in charge here. Filled with snacks, you come over, you call, blah blah. Um, so yeah, I mean, I could I could buy this if I wanted to. I'm not going to because, like I said, I'm waiting. I'm saving my uh, moolah to upgrade my blanco to uh, it was trickle to a level uh, to to an excellent level. Um, but yeah, this is all all stuff that you can just buy uh, with with your blanco bucks. There's the um, the gumballs that you can buy as well. So. Really cool stuff. So I got a couple minutes here. I'm gonna keep uh, keep banging this out. We'll play a couple more challenges, maybe one or two. Head back to the junction, see what's up. Work towards some uh, weekly goals, something like that. All right. Hope you guys are enjoying this. I uh, I'm gonna try to do this as much as I can and uh, try to keep it as daily as I can. Now, as I say that, on the heels of I'm saying that, I'm going to Tempe, Arizona tomorrow for the Triathlon National Championship. I uh, might try to stream from the hotel tomorrow. Uh, we'll see, it's gonna be a real crappy view probably, but um, you know, it'll be from, I'm using an HD camera right now, but um, I'm gonna be doing it for my laptop, so it might be crappy, but you know, what's gonna, whatever. Danny, good stream, Goldie. I will be joining once Mac is available. Yeah, it's coming. So what do you think of the game? Let me ask you. I've been talking my head off. What do you think? Is this, is, is this exciting? So the seasonal passes. Uh, the seasonal passes are really where you make your... Uh, 
really get some good good stuff here. So what I'm going to do is uh, head over to the party pass and just try to finish top three. Now, if you notice those wings I got on, check it out. So you can fly. Obviously, that's going to be helpful for uh, different things in the game. But that's what I just equipped. Yeah, and I'm talking, Danny, like, I'm just going to be real candid here. Um, I think this is... I really love this game past month and a half. I've really dug into this, right? And I'm trying to do a daily stream, and I'm you know, going to partner with some other big-time streamers of this game to, to play together and get difference of, differences of opinions and stuff like that. But, um, yeah, it's nice to keep you engaged. It's nice to get... Just have a task, because if it was just like, you know, just play the game, well, it's like, okay. That's, but it's nice to like have the incentive to log in every day and play. And uh, So I'm gonna go I'm gonna go to a featured race here. Um, so when I say featured race, see in the top it says featured of all these. I mean, there are hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of boards and levels that these are all player generated. Players make these boards. So let's do a race. Um, let's go Junction 3021. So, they're going to take my flying accessory away. What are you going to do? But uh, to be perfectly candid with you, I think, you know, for the past month and a half, like I said, I've been obsessed with this game. I've played it almost every day. Um, and recently, I've started to make these daily videos because I think that this is the future of gaming. I mean, I don't see how it can't be because it completely flips the idea of gaming on its head. Instead of you paying money and playing a game and then paying extra money to play it, theoretically, you can download the game for free, earn prizes for free, but you own them and then you sell them to make money. So if you told me as a kid that like, and this is where you talk about the metaverse, you know, so think of the idea of like Grand Theft Auto. Now imagine if that whole map in Grand Theft Auto was owned by the players. You own the cars, you own the... Oh, oh, we're just getting at it. Here we go. This is... I've played this one before. This is a lap race, I believe. So you do a couple laps here. Ah, oh, shoot. Oh, I just screwed myself. So we are in sixth place. We are not doing well. I always died at this part. Like a wrecking ball comes down. There's lap one. We gotta hope that these guys really screw up here. Which I don't think they will. Some of these players are like crazy good at this game. And part of it is their Blanco. You know, as you upgrade your Blanco, they get speedier and they get better. This guy just passed me. It's no good. Here we go. Final lap. There's that wrecking ball that killed me every time the first time I played this board. Looks like we're not gonna place here, guys. Poor showing. Ah, oh, I hit the slow thing now, too. Great! Look at this guy. Just throw a punch at him as I run by. Hey! It's a top three finish right there. What a comeback. Uh, oh, this guy's throwing hands. Love you too, Danny. Thanks for coming, man. I really appreciate it. Hope you enjoyed this. Look at that. It must have been the shades. Look at that, baby. So let's see how many XP. I think we only get like 15 XP for doing that. We're going to do one more race, then we're going to call it a day because I have to bring my dogs to the uh, animal vacation spot. I couldn't, boarding count, whatever the hell you call it. Uh, we're going on the trip tomorrow, like I said, and we have to take them. 
All right, so let's uh, let's do one more. I think there was a racing one. Do, do, do. Play 10 races. All right, so we'll do another race. Because I saw the one with checkpoints, too. Um, let's go beginner's camp. They keep taking my flying accessories. Next, what's up with that? Let me fly, man. Do, 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 do. Oh, shoot. I'm waiting for it to start and I didn't even hit X. Whoops. And also, if you, uh, what is going on here? Okay, yes. Um, if you're enjoying this, completely unrelated, but I guess it's related on my YouTube channel. I post a lot of, every Thursday, I put a highlight reel of my Super Mario Maker Super Expert speed runs. So if you're interested in those, subscribe to my YouTube channel and they come out on Thursdays. And I got to tell you, every week they get better and better. And this week is no exception. I did some pretty cool ones. There was one today with a bomb. You had to time it absolutely perfect to the frame. I did it. I was very proud of myself. But check it out if you are interested, if you're a gamer. I think it's just kind of mesmerizing to watch. You know, I'll, I'll compete. I'll do it. And then I'll watch the reload of it. And I'm like, wow, I can't believe I just did that. Anyway, you're here to see Blancos. I get it. Um, so this is going to be the last one. We're going to do this race here. Last time, this one just threw us right into it. Okay, this time we got a lobby, so that's good. I've never done this one, so buckle up. This could get ugly. Do, do, do. Oh, look at this. So I'm assuming there's going to be a lot of uh, trampolines on this one. Buckle up, Deadward. He's got the stun of shades on, though, so he knows what's up. He's right. Oh, here we go. Who's this guy? Just sucker punching him. Sucker punching him. Want some of this heat? Oh, yeah. I'm whispering in his ear. Oh, he's got the bite me thing on. I like it. The bite me billy. Oh, he's all bite me billied out. All right, respect. Game respect. Guy. Yo. As soon as he gets hit, he runs away. That's right, Deadward. You're a coward. That's how we stay alive. <laughs> Stupid. Last race. Here we go. Look at that guy. Those guys, are, those remind me of the, uh, if you watch Rick and Morty, the uh, Mr. Me Thinks. Doesn't it? We'll find a better one. There you go. Kind of like a Mr. Me thinks, but like Mr. Bill too. I am facing the wrong way. Not ideal. Okay, here we go. Ah, in the wrong turn immediately. Oh, whoa. Out of control. Oh, I missed a checkpoint. Where is... What checkpoint did I miss? Darn it. Oh, this one. Well, I screwed myself. You have to hit the checkpoints just like, a, you know, really any other game, any other racing game, so... Really screwed myself on that one. It's all right. Never played this board before, so didn't know what to expect. Always pay attention to the arrow. Well, apparently this guy didn't know what's going on either. It's a real battle of the heroes here for uh, third place. Whoa. I don't think that guy went the right way. Maybe in third right now. It takes a second to update. This is a cool board, though. I like it. We'll have to get good at this one. Knew it was too good to be true when I was, like, up there, you know? Because I stink at this. Oh, here we go. Here's the launch. Whee! Oh, boy. Woo! 
Did I hit that? I hit that. Oh my goodness. Down now. Okay. Okay. We're going. In the tires. You know what? This is good for the uh, the checkpoint challenge because I had 70 checkpoints to go. I could just play this a bunch of times. You got to think like that when you're playing these games, you know? Where is... Oh, I got to go through here. Oh, the top one had the speed burst. Darn it. Well, that's a solid last place finish, so great. Congratulations. I lost to someone at home. All right. That was a cool board, though, and that got a lot of checkpoints done. So that was, uh, that's good. We're not lost completely. You know what I mean? I'm going to show you what I mean by that, too. Let's go back to the, uh, the party pass. This will be the last thing we do before we uh, call it a day here. But look at that. Oh, boy. So that's, that's something I'm definitely going to hit again, that board. That was, uh, that was good. Because uh, that was a lot of checkpoints, and that's going to get me four of those uh, those badges there. I, that's not what they're called. I can't think of uh, what the heck they're called. I'm having a brain fart. But um, anyway, that's it. That's the stream for tonight. So again, we got all three of the daily challenges completed. We bought an NFT. Um, oh, the, the last thing. I'm sorry. This is the last thing I'm going to show you. Really quick. This is super easy. Um, I'm going to switch. You know what? I'm not even going to switch. I'm just going to pull it up oh no I have to switch Duh. I'm gonna switch over to another screen here we're gonna end with this one um, if you've never played this before and you're really interested you're gonna go to blancos.com and it's gonna pull up here I'm gonna log out so I'm gonna pretend like you've never seen any of this before like they don't know who I am so blancos.com boom brings you right here what you're gonna do right now, if you have a PC, that's the only way you can play it. Um, you're gonna go hit download, and then it's just like anything else in the world. You just very simply download it to your man or um, your uh, your PC, and then once it's uh, downloaded, what you want to go do is over here. You're gonna hit sign up, and this is it. That's the page. So it's not very hard to sign up and play this game, and uh, that's what drew me to this game in the first place was um, the ease of access, uh, the, the ease of, there's no barriers to entry. It's just very simple. Download the game, sign up, you're in. You can play in your PC, the keyboard, or you can play with your PS4 controller or 5 if you have one or, or Xbox. Um, I have a PS4, so I'm using that, right? Um, but anyway, thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. I hope this was informative for you. Um, subscribe to my channel because I'm trying to do these as daily as possible. I am competing in the Sprint Triathlon National Championships on Saturday, so I'm heading to Arizona tomorrow. I'm going to bring this with me, maybe or maybe not. I'll be you know, getting these done on the road. Who knows? Um, I'm trying my best, though. But if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. I will answer them. And uh, I hope you really enjoy this because I enjoyed this game. This is the future. And if you watch this, you at least have an idea that this is the future. So let's get in the future.